Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Day with Down to Earth Astronomy. Another week has passed, so um, let's go ahead and let's see what's been happening in the uh, last week. Of course, on Friday we had the closing of the beta server for in the first chapter of the League Beyond series, the 3.0 patch. And the big question now on everybody's mind is when is this going to go live? Both for the console players of course, who uh, so far have not been able to, to test this, but also for all the PC players of course. Um, and and of all we can do right now is guess, because I, as far as I have seen, at least right now, at the time of this recording, um, I have not seen any announcements of a launch uh, time, and Frontier has historically not um, not been giving a lot of, he of a heads up when it comes in terms of, of these kind of patches. Um, previously we have seen, situati or seen uh, situations where they have and now the past mere a patch mere hours before it went live. So they posted a form saying uh, server down for maintenance in uh, two or three hours um, for deploying and then whatever patch. So for some reason they they don't really they don't off they don't give us that much of a, of a heads up. It's not like they say oh we're gonna launch this in two weeks. Um, I personally hope it's gonna be be pretty quick, um, and I think it is gonna be pretty quick. I would believe it to be either this week or next week. So uh, hopefully, not gonna be much later than that. I think um, something unexpected needs to come up uh, if it's gonna be much later. And the reason why I I think that is is because they did do a um, beta patch three update uh, during the beta, and they said they were expecting that to be pretty close to the um, to the final version. And I think that's Frontier's way of saying we expect this to actually be the patch that goes live um, on the servers, unless something unexpected comes up. Comes up. Um, that's why I think it's gonna be a pretty quick um, uh, a pretty quick launch. Now I. I I work in IT myself, so I know that deployments of these kind of things that takes time, it takes preparations. Uh, and that's just it's not just like clicking deploy and you're done. You need to make sure you have backups. You need to make sure you have fallback procedures. You need to make sure that uh, everything is uh, is set and you're ready to go. And uh, just so you don't end up having a completely unplayable game after after a patch like that. I mean, there will always be bugs, but they'll be ironed out later. So. That's why I think we're going to see it either this week or next week, depending on how quickly Frontier can deploy a patch like this. Um, they did make some last minute changes. Um, they changed the material, the amount you can store uh, of different types of materials. Now, previously in the beta, you could store 100 of each, regardless of its tier or grade. Now, they changed it in such a way that you can now um, store, it's still 100 for tier 5 and I think it goes down to it goes up to 250 for tier 4 and then it keeps going up uh, and I think the tier 1 you can have about 300 or 350 something like that I'm not uh, not completely sure on the numbers there but at least they increase the amount which I personally think is great um, having more material stores is always nice and I guess it's also going to help the, the explorers out there um, who might not want to go and uh, end up having to look for a planet or get stuck in a system or uh, where they can't find the materials that they're looking for. I don't know. I guess in, in general it's just nice to have more um, more materials, uh, material storage, so now there's absolutely no reason not to pick up everything you come by when you're out gathering materials. Um, yes, so this puts us in this very, very odd situation, I think. If you guys, at least from my point of view right now, I I have a video up already, um, pre-uploaded, that's going to come up on Wednesday, which is with video from the beta server. But I, I feel like I don't want to go out and record new videos from the live server right now, because I know the patch is just around the corner, and if I record it, I would... I would know that it would, that most likely it would change within the next couple of weeks, so... Either I have to address that in the video, or even better, I just have to wait in two, two weeks to record it. Um, that means that I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Um, 
Kerbal, um, recording some Kerbal videos, but I've also been playing other games because right now I just, I'm, I'm really just waiting for that patch to come out. So instead of playing Elite, I've been playing a lot of other games. And I'm personally a huge fan of the uh, of the action RPG genre of, of games, like the, the top down hack and slash, um, the like Diablo series, the Path of Exile, uh, Grim Dawn. Um, also the uh, Elder Scrolls series, I know that's not a top-down hack and slash, but it's still role-play games. I really love those types of games, and I've been playing the hell out of them. Uh, Diablo 2 was actually one of the first uh, games that I, I played extensively, um, which was what got me into gaming in the first place. Um, but no, here while we're waiting for, um, for the, the 3.0 patch, I reinstalled Path of Exile, which I've played a lot in the past. Um, a very good game. And I, it was great coming back to a game that I haven't played in a year, a year and a half, maybe two years, something like that. And see how much it's expanded. I mean, it's, it's, there's so much new content in the game compared to when I played the last time. So it was really, really good to see a game develop and expand in so quickly um, as it is. Um, but anyway, I've been playing a lot of that. It's not gonna be a thing that's gonna happen on the channel, I think. Uh, uh, beginning to make um, Path of Exile and, and Hack and Slash uh, type of uh, game videos because I don't know. It, I don't think. I think it's a very different audience um, that likes those types of games than the normal space games. Of course, I like both, so clearly there are some. Um, but I don't think it's why people come to, uh, to this channel, and I'm not gonna be playing that much that I could actually get some. It would be very let's play kind of videos because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing in those games. <laughs> to be in the, at least in Path of Exile, that it's a very, a very difficult game to be good at. The game mechanics is very, very extensive, um, so that's why I like these types of games because you can really dive into the game mechanics and begin to understand it. And the game mechanics has changed a lot since last time I played it, so a lot of new stuff to um, not uh, to uh, to learn. Uh, yeah, but there is. Um, there's one last thing that uh, oh, actually two things I need to um, I need to remember to address before I close off this week. Um, first of all, I need to say thank you to a guy called let me just find his email here, Wolfgang. He says at least that's uh, the name he uses in email because he um, he wrote to me with uh, regarding that uh, material spreadsheet that I have. If you don't know, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, it's a spreadsheet I made where I've listed all the, uh, all the engineering materials. Now they're also listed with their uh, internal um, subgrade from the new patch. And then I've linked, uh, gave a small description of where you, what you need to do, where you can find it, what you need to do. And then there's also links for video guides. So if you ever in doubt, then you just go there, click the video link, and it will take you to a video explaining what you need to do. But the trigger is that all the names of the materials in uh, in the German version of the client is very different and not always easy to translate and figure out what the English translation is. So what he has done is he has taken all the names and he's translated them to English and made a German version of the game. And what I have then done is I've taken that and then I've made a new tab in the um, in the spreadsheet showing uh, all the names but in German. So for all you uh, in the German community out there who play the game with the German client, um, you can now go and you can look up the materials in your native language. Uh, if you're playing the game in any other language um, and you want to do the same thing, feel free to, uh, to take the spreadsheet, uh, download it, translate it, and uh, keep the English translation so I know what they're actually translating to, and then send it back to me. Um, so yeah. That uh, thanks a lot. That was uh, was a great help to uh, to help me expand the um, the spreadsheet. And if you have any ideas of what you want to see uh, in in terms of features I could add, again, feel free to uh, to contact me. Let me know. I have plenty of ways you can contact me, preferably by uh, by email. Um, last thing is live stream. Of course, there's a live stream tomorrow. Um, and now I said that I was not going to uh, do any uh, Path of Exile. Now I'm, I was actually considering streaming Path of Exile tomorrow again because I don't I don't want to do Elite tomorrow. But I I think it might going to be Kerbal. Um, I was thinking of trying to do a uh, let's build a Tesla and a model of the Falcon Heavy and then launch it into space kind of live stream. Just I did some things uh, similar where I, on the live stream, tried to build a Anaconda in Kerbal Space Program, which was hilarious. 
Um, and I kind of like these, this is a fast, quick, and dirty approach to Kerbal, where you don't have to necessarily sit down and make sure everything works perfectly and everything is perfectly lined because in the live stream situation is just about like try to progress, try to make stuff work, just bulk things together and strap engines to it and see if it fly. And if it didn't fly, you didn't use enough engines. Um, <laughs> but I'm thinking of doing something like that because I think it could be pretty fun. Of course, I only have the game in the vanilla version, which is going to make it a little bit difficult to build a car that's going to be small enough to fit inside a... Um, um, fit inside a rocket, but we'll have to we'll have to look at that and we'll have to see if we can figure something out there. But um I'm gonna call it I hope we're gonna see you guys to live stream tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see what I end up doing. Um maybe if the patch comes out unexpectedly tomorrow for Elite, um, I'll definitely be playing Elite then. But we'll have to wait and see. But thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel and if you want to support the channel more directly there is a link to Patreon right over there, that, that side. <laughs> um, you can go and you can become a patron over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys in space.